Anka Anka. Hopefully I'm not mispronouncing that. Which active focus is better? A lot of blur, active focus, medium blur, or a little bit of blur, active focus, no blur. Technically, well, technically, right? Like how technical is that myopia? Either is fine because the idea of active focus is challenging your eyes regularly, but not overstraining. Either works for that. I would say, depending on the scenario, I would say regular habit, which is what you really want to get to, is a little bit of blur and clear is going to be practic more practical. Right? Like, so if you're sitting in front of a screen, you don't want to go from it being super blurry to kind of blurry because what, like work-wise, that's not really that efficient. Also, your visual cortex is not going to be super happy living in medium blur. The best scenario is there's a little bit of blur and then a little bit of effort clears up that little bit of blur and building that into your life as a habit in general. So when, when you end up wearing glasses for a few months and there's no more little tiny bit of blur challenge, one day you just realize and you go, ah, I need to reduce this a little bit just so at the edge fringes, at the edges, at the further distances, I have a little bit of challenge back. Right? So that's kind of the ideal. But you can also practice with a lot of blur and less blur just to vary the experience. But just in a regular sense, it's better to have a little bit blur and then no blur or less blur. Meow, 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 meow. meow.